The green heron, seen from a distance, doesn't seem green at all. It is dark and stocky and small, much smaller than the great blue heron or great egrets, being only 16 to 22 inches long, or about the size of a crow. If seen in proper light, there's a velvet greenness to its back, along with a rich chestnut body and a dark cap, usually raised in a crest when alarmed. The young herons have a reddish tinge to their face and striped chest like a bittern. Often they are fishing, which includes crouching patiently in shallow water without moving for a long time, then snatching the unsuspecting prey with their dagger-like bill or even spearing it. They will also lure fish with twigs and insects or rock back and forth, which may, may make their prey move. Green herons fly rapidly with the neck outstretched. They have a harsh sound along with grunts and squawks. Green herons build their nests near swamps, marshes, lakes, and ponds in secluded trees and shrubs. When ready, the male heron will select a site for a nest that's concealed in a large tree or bush like pine, oak, willow, box elder, cedar, honey locust, hickory, sassafras, or mangrove. The site is usually over the water and up to 30 feet high. He begins construction before finding a mate. Courtship displays are quite interesting as they stretch their necks, snap their bills, call loudly, and fly with exaggerated flaps. Then she finishes the nest as he supplies long, thin sticks for her. She shapes them into a nest with a depression of less than two inches. No lining is added. They'll also use old nests of other herons or just use the sticks for their own nests. Green herons don't usually form colonies, but will sometimes. She then lays three to five eggs and incubates them for 19 to 21 days. They are covered with grayish down and will fledge in another 16 to 17 days. Predators include crows, grackles, snakes, and raccoons. The brooding and feeding is done by both the male and the female, and chicks can stay around for more than a month after fledging. Then they all migrate south to Mexico and Central America for the winter. <laughs>